I'm going to show you how to use the formula and use it in Excel to help organize the data. So here we have some data and I just clicked on this and opened in Excel and we're trying to find the approximate mean and the approximate standard deviation. So what I've done is I basically have set, set up my information and I could do this on paper but to me it just helps to use um, Excel to do your work. Well first of all 5 to under 10, 5 plus 10 divided by 2. So this would be 7.5, 12.5, 17.5, 18.5, 22.5 and then 27.5 and if you're not sure about rounding you can click on question help view an example um, and look at their example and you can see their midpoint is just like ours okay so let me get back to where I was the next thing we want to do to find the mean is multiply the frequency times the midpoint. Let me move this out of the way for a second. Um, there. So your frequency is 17 and then times it by your midpoint which is 7.5. So I just highlighted the cells I wanted to multiply. And what you can do is you can copy this formula down. Okay and it looks like just to make sure it's not rounding on us. Now, once we do frequency times the midpoint, we're going to sum those up. So we're going to sum up our frequency times our midpoint, highlight it. Okay, and then we need to divide by n. So let's get n. n is the sum of your frequencies. Okay, so n is 74. Um, and then so our mean and I'm going to label this mean is going to equal the sum of the frequencies times the midpoints which is the 1280 divided by n. So now we have our mean and uh, we want to round to three decimal places so let's decrease the decimal. All right, so there's our mean. I'm going to highlight that. Um, so for this one, I'm going to do my midpoint. I'm, I'm working on my standard deviation, which is this formula down here. Let me put it over here so we can see it. I've already labeled this up here, but we're going to do our midpoint minus our mean and I'm just going to type in the number for the mean so it will use that each time. Now I forgot to put parentheses around it. And then I'm going to do the uh, rooftop to the second and I'm going to times it by F which is the frequency so highlight the frequency. So make sure you put that first one in correctly and we're going to round, if we look on view an example, it's going to tell us to round to three decimal places. I've already checked that. Um, so we're going to decrease the decimal. What I like about Excel is instead of having to put this in every single time, I can just copy the formula down. Now, we have done the sum of the midpoint minus the mean squared times the frequency. We, got, we have to sum this up, so um, sum this column up, alright, so now we have that number, and so what we need to do is take, because this is technically the variance formula, so we have to take the square root to just to get S, so we're going to take equals square root, and we're going to do um, the mean divide, I mean the uh, numerator which is 3121.959 this column here the sum of the mean, midpoint minus the mean squared times the frequency and we're going to divide that by n minus 1. Well I know n is 74 
it's over here. 74 minus 1, I'm just going to go ahead and put 73. Okay, so now um, we have the square root, which is going to be the standard deviation. And we're going to round to three decimal places, which is 6.540. So that is how you can do this um, in Excel. So what you may want to do is make you a spreadsheet or make a note of the headings to put up here. And that way you can just go in and plug it into the formula. Let me know if you have any questions.